Hello friends, welcome back to lovely Linux videos. In the previous session, we have seen in detail about installation, download, setup and everything which are fundamentals related to Ubuntu operating system. We installed Ubuntu inside a virtual machine and we, we just played around with the initial sneak peek of Ubuntu operating system and its basic usages. Fine. Now, today I'm going to introduce you to a different type of Linux flavor which is from the Arc Linux. So the distribution I'm going to show you is one of the famous derivatives from the Arc Linux community, Arc Linux flavor. Earlier we have seen Ubuntu which was a Debian Linux flavor. Now we are going to see a new type of Linux which is a Arc Linux flavor. Arc Linux having its own type of uh, distribution mechanism. I will explain it now. As I said earlier, in Ubuntu, we used to have two releases per year. One is in the month of April, another one is in the month of October. In the meantime, there will be some long-term releases which will be supported. Long-term support will be there for those releases. This is how the Linux or Ubuntu release roadmap is being planned. Now, Arc Linux is more a kind of a rolling distribution. What is a rolling distribution? They don't have separate timelines for releasing the operating system, but they keep on releasing the softwares, they keep on revising the kernels as and when the update is done it will be published. There is no specific timeline. If they are done with some updates today, they may apply some patches tomorrow. Even they do lot of new upgrades day after tomorrow. So they every day or every week or even every month an update will be released. This is called a rolling release. It is not a complete operating system revamp, but it will be get revamped patch by patch, patch by patch. So at particular software, a particular kernel or particular set of files, when updated, it will be released to the general public. So that we need to keep on having an eye over the releases and update it every day. So every day, by the end of the day, we need to check for the updates from the community and apply those updates. This is called a rolling distribution. Majority of Arc Linux flavors belongs to the rolling distribution model. Today, we are going to see such a type of, such a kind of rolling distribution from Arc Linux, which is called as Garuda Linux. Garuda Linux. This is, a, so far, lot of Linux flavors I have experienced, among which this is the one which is most attractive to me. Earlier, so far, my love or my, I am very much one-sided towards Ubuntu before seeing Garuda Linux. Once I started exploring Garuda Linux some six or eight months before, I am totally got blown up. So the looks, the way the packages are arranged, the rolling distribution, their stability, the softwares released by Garuda Linux, everything is totally blowing away. They were outstanding Linux variant which I have ever seen in any of the Linux flavors, it may be a Red Hat, it may be a Arc Linux, it may be Debian, I would say Garuda Linux is the best among everything. So for the past six months, I am using this Garuda Linux for my day-to-day -day official work as well as my personal activities. Right, let's get started. I am starting the browser. In the browser, I am going to type Garuda Linux dot org see this is the home page of garuda linux so they will come with shri here right so when you scroll down there is an option for you to download garuda linux you can choose your language they have some certain set of languages of course majority of the languages across the globe is supported okay so this is the installation screen which we are going to see after in a while. Yeah, so now we are going to download Garuda Linux. 
this is the screen here so we are going to select English as the primary language I think by default itself it is English so now you need to select this so they are recommending some minimum requirements which we need 4 gigabytes of RAM and 30 GB hard disk storage space most of the Arc Linux flavors are then they are in need of huge disk spaces because they provide all the minimum required softwares for your operating system for your day-to-day -day activities so it is good to go with to go with the reserved space of 30 gigabytes of memory hard disk and the minimum requirement for running Garuda Linux is 4 GB so when installing the operating system and getting started I will let you know why this 4 GB RAM is needed or how we are justifying that 4 GB RAM I will let you know these are all the minimum requirements to setting up the operating system but the community the Garuda Linux community recommends 40 gigabits of storage space and 8 GB of RAM which will be good enough and which will be supporting very well for the Garuda Linux so if you are going to install Garuda Linux completely in your PC then this is the recommendation provided by the community so they have a lot of guidelines given here you just have some time and just go through them one, one, one after the another they don't recommend installing in virtual box if you want to experience Garuda Linux completely you should not install it in a virtual machine it should be installed directly in your computer that is the recommendation from Garuda team I also second them it is really good to install Garuda Linux in your computer directly so that you will experience it fully of course virtual box installation is good as well but you cannot exploit the features completely anyhow for our demonstration we are going to install it in virtual machine right so now we are going to download Garuda Linux so the live session login details is given this is the default username and password Garuda Garuda so like Ubuntu Garuda Linux is also having a variety of installation options for you one is Garuda KDE this is dragonized so some ha some system hacker or a white hat hacker designed the word dragonized like this with some encryptions so this is a crypt right okay so this is the word dragonized so Garuda KDE dragonized KDE is a famous Linux desktop distribution model which is introduced long before so Garuda is using the KDE dragonized this is one of the most popular versions of Garuda Linux distributions apart from this we have one more thing Garuda KDE multimedia this is exclusive for multimedia operations those who are good in video audio related stuff and XFCE lot of things are there I just I don't want to go after one another things if you feel free to check all these options in your free time so for time being I am going to use Garuda KDE dragonized so we are going to download it download KDE dragonized edition they have one more edition for gamers gaming edition but now I am not interested with the gaming edition I am just going with the plain dragonized edition I want to download this using my torrent I am just clicking the torrent so it is opening the torrent file in my torrent software installed in my operating system yep so this is going to start my Garuda Linux ISO download so this ISO will be downloaded if I click open my ISO download will be started this is one of the ways to download if you don't have any torrent client and all you can just go to SourceForge here in SourceForge it will be automatically downloading the ISO for you without using torrents so directly you can save as how we did for Ubuntu operating system the same way we are going to download Garuda Linux dragonized installation image right so since I already downloaded this ISO I am not going to proceed with this step if you are starting afresh please consider downloading Garuda Linux ISO right so now I am done with Garuda Linux ISO download after downloading Garuda Linux what I need to do 
we are going to install the Garuda Linux in our VirtualBox virtual machine. Going to start VirtualBox. Yesterday we have already installed Ubuntu inside the VirtualBox. Now I am going to install Garuda Linux. Right click. The same steps we did yesterday. We are just going to follow machine new. What is the type of machine we are going to install? Garuda. What type of operating system it is? Linux. What is the version? It is an Arc Linux variant with 64 bit. Remember when you type Ubuntu, the type and versions are automatically detected yesterday with the video. Whereas for Garuda, this is not yet identified by the virtual box. So we need to select the type of operating system and its version. It is Arc Linux flavor. Next. So what is the recommendation? So they recommended 4 MB. But anyhow, I am going to provide 50% of my RAM, which is almost 8 GB. 8 GB of RAM. Next. Create a virtual hard disk. They are recommending 8 GB. But I want to go with the recommendations from Garuda community, which is 30 gigabytes of hard disk virtual disk image next dynamically allocated next I am going with 30 gigabits 30 gigabits of hard disk space so this is the place where my Garuda virtual machine is going to be created I am done with creating my virtual machine with the hard disk now I am going to install Garuda Linux right click start normal start so the virtual machine is started i am going to click this browse button add this is my garuda dragonized here in dragonized garuda download you can check the timestamp in which the latest update is downloaded this is 210107 year month and date 7th of January 2021. This is the date in which the Garuda Linux download is updated. It is the installation image of 7th January 20, 2021. Open. Choose. Okay. Now our virtual machine is going to start Garuda Linux installation. So this is the screen in which we start Garuda Linux. So it is very much similar to Ubuntu as we worked earlier. It will boot to either live view is live mode or to the installation mode. So once the boot process is done, it will prompt us what we are going to do. So by the way, Garuda is the name of a holy bird in Hindu mythology it is a more similar to a, an eagle it is a type of eagle with a neck in white in color and most of the eagles we have bald eagles and lot more varieties of eagles but this particular type of variety has white color head and neck rest of the body is in normal brown color so that is the type of eagle which we call it as Garuda Okay, so the first time initial starting up process is in progress. Yeah, we are done. So this is the welcome screen of Garuda Linux. Welcome screen. I am not interested with the screen now. I will go with this once the operating system installation is completed. This is the link I am going to follow for installing Garuda Linux. Just open it. Yep. So this is the installation shield through which you proceed with your Garuda Linux installation. Now it is asking for language. I am leaving it to American English. 
Apart from this, it supports varieties of language languages across the globe. But anyhow, let us go with American English. Next. Your time zone as usual since I am from India. I am selecting Kolkata as a time zone. Keyboard. Which language we need to select. So it identifies my geolocation and recommends it as India. So this, that's why the keyboard layout recommends me in Hindi. Now what I am going to prefer is English. So this is the keyboard layout I would like. Or if you are interested very much with United States English, the standard thing which you used to follow day by day, I am just going with this. Next. So the same option earlier what we did. It's asking for two options. One is to erase disk. Another one is manual partitioning. Since we allocated this virtual machine exclusive for Garuda Linux, I'm going to erase and use the complete disk for this installation. If I want to install Garuda Linux alongside Windows or any other operating system, I need to choose manual partitioning and proceed further. In order to choose manual partitioning, we need to know the internals and much more details about disk partitioning and memory space allocation. Now we don't need such kind of things as we are going to proceed with erase disk for now. So what it will do, the current disk we allocated is 30 GB, 30 gigabits of space which is unpartitioned and readily available for Garuda system to install. So after the installation process, this is the whole partition that is the 30 gigabits of disk space will be occupied by Garuda Linux. So as I said earlier Windows is by default using a file system called FAT32. FAT means file allocation table. This is the file system used by Windows. Whereas in Linux it, 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 it also deals with varieties of file system but the most common, common file system used by Linux is ext3. Of course Ubuntu is also using that ext3 file system extensively. But in Garuda there is a change in using the file systems. So the file system here which is more popular in Garuda is BT, btrfs binary tree file system. This makes Garuda one of the fastest Linux distributions across the globe. Once the installation is done, Garuda is, you can feel the experience how fast Garuda is when comparing to other Linux distributions. So BTRFS is one of the famous file systems which works and which deals with the data in terms of binary trees. Many of the fam many of the leading Linux distributions like SUSE and some more Linux distributions are now thinking about migrating to BTRFS. So the Garuda team went one step advanced and totally migrated their installation to new file system which is called BTRFS. For me it is new but in the industry it has been a long while BTRFS is there but the people who are going to patronize and use it were very very less in number in those days. But now people in Garuda Linux they understood the importance and understood the benefits in using the BTRFS file system and they implemented that in the Linux distribution. So after the installation of Garuda that we are erasing the complete disk and we are making the whole disk is formatted into BTRFS file system. Right. Next. So as usual we need to name our machine. I am naming it as Ambasoft is my name and the name of this computer is Ambasoft Garuda. Password will be the same. Right. So what it needs to do? Log in automatically without asking? No. Use the same password for administrator? Yes. So these are all a typical uh, uh, user configuration in any operating system installation. Next. So this is a summary or an overview which shows all the details you have selected which is consolidated here and is being presented to you. Just go through the things. If any conflicts which are 
mismatching your selections go back and ensure what you are doing then go with install the Garuda installer is about to make changes to your disk this will not be unlo undo these changes install now yep so now the installation process is started your Garuda Linux installation is in progress let us come back once the installation is completed stay tuned until then okay all right now we are done with the installation of Garuda Linux Dragonified Dragonized yeah so it's all done so it took almost five to six minutes so it's eventually definitely based on your system configuration the speed of installation will be there but absolutely when comparing with Ubuntu installation it is very fast and very quick now we are done we just need to restart our virtual machine restart now and done the Garuda Linux is getting started just select Garuda from the options so it's now booting from your virtual hot disk of 30 GB so your 8 gigabits of RAM and 30 gigabits of virtual hard drive were used by Garuda Linux though the Garuda community is against installing Garuda Linux inside virtual machines we are just doing it in just for evaluation if you are happy and fine please do consider installing Garuda in your physical machine as your primary operating system trust me it is worth it is not going to disappoint you yeah so now this is the screen this is called Garuda dragonized so you can see the dragon nice this is asking for password logging in now The people at Garuda Linux concentrated more on the user's experience. So the user experience presents everything is amazing in this Linux. See here, this is the welcome screen in your desktop. So this is Garuda Linux desktop. It uses the wired internet connection from your host operating system. See in the down, in the bottom, you are having all the menus which you need to get yourself started right so let us get into them one by one as a sneak peek and we can wind up your session here so this is called as Garuda setup assistant so do you need Garuda setup assistant to finish installation is asking but time being I don't need any help later on I can invoke Garuda setup assistant no this is the Garuda welcome screen I am ignoring it yeah so this is the desktop of Garuda Linux here we are having some popular things this is Garuda assistant which we are going to see after a little while this is the terminal Alakriti so this is the terminal screen in Garuda Linux this is the terminal you can type all your terminal related commands here this is your command prompt which is an equivalent in Windows and Firefox is the default browser comes with Garuda Linux so it is a normal as usual Firefox and Dolphin is the file manager which you are using for your file system access in Windows you used to have file explorer right similar to this this is the file system access these are all the file icons file managers can be accessed using the dolphin tool yep. 
So Dolphin is the default file manager for KDE variants. Since Garuda Dragonized is a KDE variant, they are using Dolphin as their file manager. And case is got this is to monitor the processes installed in your machine and to monitor the system load. It will show how much internet you are using, memory, CPU, everything. So it is like process monitoring in Windows. This is for your disk partition manager. You can see your hard disk. You need administrator details to check. So what is your hard disk? So the hard disk type file system is BTRFS. The partition is totally around 8.15 of RAM. So it is named it as Z RAM. So they do some optimizations on the RAM and make it faster. The primary memory mean. Yeah. Right. So and then add or remove software. In Linux, sorry, in Ubuntu, we used Ubuntu software to start software installations whereas in Garuda you are having add or remove software through which you can search for your software and you can install it right as I said Garuda Linux is a rolling release we need to update it every now and then every day or even every week every day will be the recommended time to check for the updates and patch it out in order to do this, go to the updates menu. It will look for the Garuda repository and pull up all the software changes or updates or patches that needs to be viewed into your machine. As our system is up to date, there is no need or no software is required to patch it out. Time to time, you just need to go there and check the updates. If there are any patches available, it will be listed down here. You just need to select and apply. So your operating system will be up to date with the rolling distribution releases of Garuda Linux. Apart from that, other softwares you are interested, you can install. VLC, Telegram, lot more things. I think Skype, is it there? Yep, Skype for Linux is there. So you can install that as well. So almost all the softwares which you use, you can search and make use of them and install in your Garuda Linux. Just click the install button next to that software of your choice and you will be getting that. Okay, that's one point of it. So that is a file manager and this is your system settings. It will be helpful for your system wide configuration like date and time, sounds and your language preferences, everything, fonts, icons, themes. So there are varieties of themes you can play around and then check and whatever you love, you can pick it up, right? So what's the reason for Garuda Linux to take up much more primary memory comparing to Ubuntu and other things? Because it is rich in their look and feel. See here, if I open a menu, the background got blurred and a transparent look is there. So these are all things being monitored and done by some separate processes which is running. So to give better user experiences, they are in need of some better or much more primary memory. That is your RAM. That's the reason. Not only for this, small, small animation things are also there whenever open, whenever you open a new window, if you migrate from one screen to another screen, lot of good things are there. So for example, see here, this is a smaller animation thing. So this also took some time. See, small, small things are there, right? So if you minimize, yeah. So all these screens, right? Now you are done. So if you want to see the features of Garuda Linux, what are all the things you can do apart from the menu items given below? You can start Garuda Assistant. Where is the Garuda Assistant? You need to go with the Garuda Welcome screen. Click the Garuda icon. Here you are having the Garuda Assistant. This assistant will help you with all the things. What are all the things available? Everything is shown here, right? This is for your use. You can check just a tab by tab and see what are all the things, basic things, and it gives the snapshot for you, right? So that's about uh, 
the basic Garuda Linux. If you start using it, you will definitely fall low in with Garuda. This is my primary operating system for the past six months for official as well as personal work. Until before that I was using Ubuntu but now I am totally in love with Garuda Linux and uh, I am sure for the at least for the next couple of years I am not going to come out from Garuda Linux which is of my favorite option. It is also rolling and up to date with the latest industry changes so whenever a new standard or something new which is being trending which is accepted by the community Garuda is not hesitant to incorporate on its own style. Okay friends, this is all about Garuda Linux. If you want to shut down, just click this power button out here. Click logout or shut down. And that's about it. So this is all about uh, Garuda Linux. So this is the second distribution we discussed after Ubuntu operating system. The next week or in the forthcoming days we will see some other interesting Linux variants or Linux flavors as well. So we have so far we have covered one Debian variant which is Ubuntu, one Arc Linux variant which is Garuda. Eventually we may interested to see some of the Red Hat variants in the future videos. Let us see how it goes. Until then, stay safe, take care and please keep on exploring your knowledge in the Linux space. Thank you. Goodbye.